Hello and welcome to my fourth 3D game maker tutorial. Now today we're just going to learn a very cool feature that you would probably think is cool. Now again, I'm going to have to load this up on a website and send and put it in the description. Now you've probably seen this in my last tutorial when I was exampling to show these. Now this was made by the Sivar, so and so thanks to him again. Now what you can do is make a circle say just click in that that and if you do that that moves it around you probably want to move it off now it's trying to give you an imagination if it's going through the floor it'll be through the floor so so if you don't want it halved so you only really see one half right on the ground yeah you don't have to do that now what's really stupid is that now if you're going to do this you should probably put it on straight land because on terrain when it goes higher and when it's not straight it will go through it but it as soon as I figure out some code to fix that problem oh yeah so you can add another one so say we're doing a portal right so yeah something like that we can also change the color of it and every time you do that there's different code being used say so do this like a wood kind of stand on so it looks pretty stylish, eh? That's exactly what it's going to look like when you put it in the room. I'm just going to make it a little bit higher. There we go. And turn out with something like that, but you make what you want. And then you press the save button. Now, people can get confused with this, that's why I'm take, doing this tutorial for you guys. The GML has, well, what it's done is now pasted, or at least copied. And to prove that, we've gone. So, first you're going to want to do this so you can back it up. Always back it up. Probably just Now, once again, you're probably going to want to put it in the same folder, but you don't exactly have to. Now, open the txt file, paste it in. You should come up with that bunch of code that you want. That'd be hard to figure out if you did it without ShapeMaker. It's very good stuff. And then save changes. So yeah, you don't want to do that. And once you've done that, you can then go and make a new object now draw and execute a piece of code and yeah like that pretty cool and yeah now what we do is place it there and you'll see it there it is. You can also go through it. See, it just goes through everything else. Because this is D3D. The terrain goes with the D3D, but this doesn't. It's D3D, but not D3D filed. It's D3D code, coded. Which, um, yeah. And trying to do solid and all that, make it solid, it's really hard. You might. I'm gonna think of doing some wall code so I can work a little bit proper. But um, 
yep, that's the tutorial one. Um, and please subscribe. Bye.